Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan 427. And today, I actually want to discuss Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens and their match actually coming up at WWE Bash in Berlin. And this is going to be actually for the WWE Undisputed Championship. And the way this actually came about was actually Cody Rhodes actually basically gave Kevin Owens the title shot. A lot of people were mad about that and stuff like that. But what I'm really going to talk about is should Kevin Owens turn heel and... At this point, I don't think so. I don't think he'll actually turn heel. And I actually will be at the show this coming Friday, actually, in uh, D.C. So, I actually will be at that show. So, I'm super excited about that. I believe we got a couple of matches announced, like L.A. Knight versus Santos Escobar. We got the tag team title match, which would be great to see the bloodline. get. actually seen them win the tag team championships, which that was great to actually see that in person. But at this point, I just don't see him turning heel. And this will be a problem going forward because he's now Cody is facing a baby face, basically. Even though people might think he might turn heel. But then after that, who does Cody face? But with this match, I feel like that Cody's definitely winning. Cody's definitely winning. I absolutely think that Cody Rhodes is winning. And what will come of this? I don't think we'll get another match because I think that Bad Blood... I just feel like they need a bigger match for Cody. And we said this at SummerSlam. A lot of people said this, but they gave us a little cold. It's like, okay, it made sense. You want to return to Roman Reigns. And it was a pretty pretty good match, to be, to, be completely, to be completely honest. I mean, I expected it to be good. That first match was good. I mean, it wasn't the match that everybody wanted. But then when you go into his hometown for Bad Blood, I just feel like it needs to be a bigger match. I feel like that's when you pull the trigger on a Randy Orton feud because they can feud... I believe, what is it, Saudi after that, you're going to get a big match for Cody because they gave him Logan Paul. So I assume they're going to do a rematch with Orton. And then Survivor Series, I don't know what you do with that because the title really hasn't been really defended. To be completely honest, what happened at last year's Survivor Series? Roman wasn't there and Seth didn't defend his title. So that's what happened at last year. So I don't know if Cody will defend it. So this could lead into the Royal Rumble. We'll just have to see about that. But I definitely don't think I definitely don't see Kevin Owens actually um, turning heel. I think he stays a babyface. I think Orton turning heel is the best bet for them and keep Owens a babyface. I don't know what Owens does after this at all. It seems like they're going to continue the feud with the Bloodline, and it'll be interesting to see what's on Roman's side with the Bloodline. I think Cody is probably separated for it right now, especially if he gets that a few with Orton. I feel like that'll be the feud because the. He's had great matches, and what do you think Cody Rhodes' title reign has lived up to it or not? It has nothing to do with him, and he's still getting reactions. He's still selling out pretty much every show. He got tons of merchandise at Fanatics. I believe he was like the number one selling athlete, period, not just WWE athlete, period. So when you think about all that, he's actually a huge success for them. Now, their booking of him has been a problem, but then that's on Triple H to... And I, I really don't know the options they have for him. That's the reason he's facing Kevin Owens. There's no... You don't have him face Austin Derry on pay-per-view? No, maybe you can build up Austin Derry, but to be honest, if they were going to build up Austin Derry, he could have fought him here. Because I don't even think Cody will main event this show, to be completely honest. I think Gunther and Orton is going to main event. I could, be, I could see Cody main event, but if you're going to do Derry or Waller, but it's like, are they on that level? No. Is anybody going to believe they're going to win? No. So, I'm going down Carmelo Hayes of Hills, um, Santos Escobar. I mean, they're just not on that. Not going to do Logan Paul again. So, it's just like, what Hills do Cody actually have to have to face on SmackDown? Jacob Fatu, not in that spot. Tama, Tonga, Tonga Loa, two of them, no. Absolutely not. Especially the one who never wrestled. I don't, I don't know what they're going to do with him. But that's a, but you go down the list and just there's no hills for Cody to face. Like where where are the hills at? And that that's just the issue they'll have on SmackDown going forward. Nothing will I, I really don't see what they can actually do. Because I'm really trying to think of somebody else who Cody can actually face. They'll definitely be able to get to Mania. If they trust out this Orton feud, they definitely be able to get to Mania and see what he's doing with that. Or I, I can't see them waiting for Orin for Mania. Just simply because I, I just don't see who he can face up until then. You're going to have a real... If you don't do the Orton feud during this fall, you're going to have a real tough time getting Cody to WrestleMania. 
And we don't know if he's facing Rock or Orton, but yeah, there's just a lack of credible heels. And maybe after this, you move Drew over to SmackDown, maybe. Maybe Damien, who's a baby face. Maybe Finn, once he breaks out from him. I feel like Finn is a credible opponent. You know, he hasn't been pushing it like Dominic is not. I feel like on Raw, there's a couple of guys on there, but then... I mean, look at all of WWE, it's not really that many. Because even with Gunther on the other side, with baby faces, he's going to face Orton. I'm assuming he's going to go into Seth Rollins or maybe Punk. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I feel like it's just a lack of just, there, there's top guys there. But it's like they, they already fought them. Or it's like they're saving it. I just feel like you have... A group of guys who are on this level, and then you just need more people for them to be credible to actually face these top guys, and that's the problem. And that was really, which I didn't feel like Bailey's title reign was bad. They just didn't do anything with her. She what she defended at like one pay per view up until SummerSlam, and it's just like she had no credible opponents. There was nobody for her to face, and I don't know why Daddy has this problem with this bloated roster, with this huge roster, and I just feel like they're just not. They, they're really not building up people. All the people who are built up were pretty much already built up. I mean, maybe, but Gunther was already IC champion before Triple H took over. So it's, it's, it's very interesting to see what's going on with all this. It's very interesting to see what they'll do going inside the future um, with Cody. But I definitely don't see Kevin Owens turning heel. I just feel like that would be like a thing where it's like, oh, he turned heel. Because they needed him to turn heel. And because Cody doesn't have any heel opponents. But it's very interesting to see if they're coming up and set the future. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens match? I think it would be a great match. His matches, Cody Rhodes match, you can't see nothing about. The Bills to him maybe are a problem. Um, he's really not playing second foot because Roman is probably done. I believe he's not coming back to like September 13th. So this will be the top few. I don't know what they do. Yeah, I mean, that's another problem with just SmackDown overall is that when you missing your Roman used to be the top hill, but your top guy or number one, number two, what do you want to say from a quote? One of your top guys, like, it's a hole inside the show. That's the reason when he's there, it's like, oh, this feels important because the bloodline, now with the Cody feud, they had something to do. But outside of that, it's just like they're just trucking along moving along and when they debut people it's to get excited but it's like okay we're waiting for Roman to come back but then it's like he's hardly even there so just interested to see what they're going to do with this coming inside the future like comment subscribe thanks for watching